so this is my code for this week's lab, the FizzBuzz game. The idea of the game is to divide a number by a specific number, and if the remainder is zero, you output FizzBuzz, Fizz, or Buzz, or just the number itself. So if we run this and we enter 15, you can see it becomes 1, 2, Fizz, 4, Buzz, so on and so forth, and 15 we get Fizz, Buzz. So going to assembly, what I first did was I called the write string function to output the round prompt variable, which asked the user to enter the number of rounds to play. This is then read by the read end function and stored into the number variable. I also initialized uh, the i variable to zero. Now to create a loop, you need two parts. Uh, you can name these labels uh, arbitrarily to whatever you want. In this case, I named mine as loop this, and for the end loop, I creatively named it end loop. So for the loop body, what I first did was I incremented i by one. I then moved the number variable to the eax register, and then I compared i to eax. So if e, so if eax is, oh, sorry, if i is less than eax, the code may proceed downwards. Otherwise, it jumps to the end loop. I then moved i back to the eax register and performed a sign extension, which has the effect of zeroing out the edx register. So for the first condition, uh, for i mod 15, I just simply moved the decimal 15, which is 0f and hexadecimal, to the ecx register. I then perform sign division. So when you perform sign division, the quotient is stored in the EAX register, whereas the remainder is stored in the EDX register. So I compared EDX to zero, and if that condition is true, I jump to C1. Otherwise, it continues down this road uh, for I mod three, for I mod five, and Lastly, it jumps if none of these work, that is, if the number is not perfectly divisible by either 3, 5, or 15, then it jumps to the C4 uh, condition. So these are my following conditions. It's simply outputting either fizz buzz, fizz buzz. Uh, and for the last one, if none of these are divisible, then it just outputs the number i. So as you can see from all of this, uh, I have JMP, which is a unconditional jump. It basically jumps back to the beginning of the loop, all the way up here, and it's incremented by i, and the whole thing starts again. So as long as i is less than or equal to the number, this whole loop repeats. Uh, otherwise, it ends uh, with the end loop, and the registers are dunked, and the program ends.